Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will see and we will know about the Qasa of the Dhulqarnayn and what happened to Ya'juj and Ma'juj and what about the Akhirah with the time of Isa. Yeah, the first we will start from Surah Al-Kahf before the last stages. There is a man called Zulqarnain and he likes traveling and he is also um, a king. He's a very great king and he is one of the best. So we will know his story. Um, uh, the Quraysh has always asked the Nabi alayhi salam um, what is about Zulqarnain? We are asking you. So Nabi alayhi salam showed them a story. This story starts in the north, near of the North Pole. There was um, um, a place that the sun will not set or rise. It just stays going around. Um, and it, this happening by the name Middle Night Sun. So that place, the sun was rising up. It had a sunrise the first time there was uh, two lakes one of the lakes was white beautiful and very uh, cold and there were people there and Allah told uh, he asked Zulqarnain what will you do these people with one inside he said if this water is good then so you will give them and you will give them and you will make them the best because you will do it again in the Akhirah where they will go to the paradise, the Jannah you can say. And then in the left there was this very cloudy and hot water. Maybe it's um, hot mud and maybe it's lava. And there was also people there. So um, Allah asked one more time, what will you do? He said, we will give them a bad, so you will yurjaun. That means in the akhirah, you will do the same thing again to again. That means the nar jahannam. And then so he moved along and he, he was in the place near the the mountains you saw a village that there were people in the village that they was always scared they don't know what to do and they avoided everything and they didn't have cover from the midnight sun so they they said in the language of their own which is not from speech um, that there is two big 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 people there are a lot uh, they're called Ya'juj and Ma'juj in the English you can say Gog and Magog they come to our lands destroy Yufsiduna fil ard so he said please you are a king you have money you have time please help us so he said Zulqarnain Okay, so bring me to the place. Th this place was near two mountains. And uh, they said, they come from there. He said, okay. He said, what we'll do? I will not fight. I will not make war. We will just sleep. He said, give me all of the iron bars you had. So he said, what will you do? Stack them on top of each other. He just stacked them and then he said in Fukunara it means blow hot burning fire until it melts and be a great wall. So this barrier mm, cannot be cracked or digged and the Qawmain Ya'juj Ma'juj cannot climb up the mountains or dig down. Every time they dig down after a bit time of rest the malaika the angels come and cover it. and whenever they want to come out maybe they fall down and maybe the asteroids came 
We don't know. So then he said, what is this? He said, this is a blessing. This is a grateful of my Lord. Then he said, what will happen to this? He said, when the Yawm Al-Akhirah comes, when Indaman Yanfukhu Fissu, when Israfil will blow in his horn, this barrier will be the same as the ground. So it will become very thin and they will come out and you see Duna fill up. So let's now hear about the Akhirah of the Juj Majuj. When Dhul Qarnayn died and when after millions of millions of years, when it was the Day of Judgment, very near of the Day of Judgment, when Isa alayhi salam, peace upon him, and the Mu'mineen finished the fight with the Dajjal, um, Allah said, I, my creation, I have a creation that no other creation of mine can fight with it, destroy it, or just do anything to it. So they were scared. They said, go to the Jabal al-Tur. Jabal al-Tur is the same place that Musa salam talked with Allah. Um, so all the Mu'mineen and Isa, we, they go to the Jabal al-Tur. They said, Ya Allah, what now? Because they were here and they didn't have food, they didn't have water, and they stayed here for months. And then this wall corrupt. Ya'juj and Ma'juj, they all come out. Yufsiduna fil are destroying the lands, killing people, and do everything what they want, making things dry, dead. And then, then what happened? The Mu'mineen said, Ya Allah, please, please, we don't have any more time to survive. And then Allah said, don't worry. So Allah sent to the Qawmain, Ya'juj wa Ma'juj, a very bad disease that will come from the backside of the head, maybe the shoulder, maybe, I don't know. And they used to drink their blood and just eat their brain until they all die and they die like loosing from a wall they were stacked up on each other so that was what they've done and then it was a very bad day so uh, the mu'minin did not know what to do so um probably that was the last day of ya'juj ma'juj and then um the mu'minin said can we go out now? He said, because there is Ya'juj yeah, Ma'juj are everywhere. Even if they're dead, they are um, they are sick and they have back. I don't know. They're dead. They have worms, parasites on them, and they're dead. This everywhere. He said, what can we do? There, um, the Hadith said that um, the Sahaba was asking Muhammad. Um, from one step of um, uh, Salih in the Jannah is 1,000, I mean 999 of people going to the Jahannam. He said, oh my God, Ya, ya Nabi Muhammad, how can we um, ever be the best? We, we cannot do this, he said. Don't worry, because the arba'atu arba' it means the mostly, that means only 20% of us is the humans we know. The, the other are the ya'juj and the ma'juj. So just just see, we have now like 70, 100,000 people living, uh, millions of seven. Then just, just multiply it with one, 999. That is the number of Ya'juj Ma'juj, A'udhu um, So what did um, Allah do? Allah, for the Isa and the Muslimin, He made um, the sky night. So they will sleep. And when they were sleeping, Allah sent 
to the dead bodies these um they looked like phantoms in minecraft they were big bird creatures that came down took their dead bodies maybe they eat it maybe they throw it in the sea we don't know and then um they waked up he said what is this he said oh my god what can we do now we can go down and everything's corrupted there is not even the end of the mountain then allah said look of what i can do look of what i can do people so he rained at the sky the rain washed up everything the grass grew the animals came everything came back the villages grew and then they were free and there's also another hadith that says that this barrier was one time been a small hole in the middle because Muhammad Ali Salam he waked up from the uh, a bad dream about there was a small hole this is the size of his finger um, maybe the ring we don't not sure and yet yeah, just much they're very corrupted ugly they're not big they're not small they're humans very corrupted humans very ugly humans their armor is stick to their body imagine uh, he said like the shield when you break a shield uh, th that's how their bodies look so and that is the qissa that's the story and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh